I remember it like it was yesterday. We watched After Sun, Paul Mescal put on an amazing performance, he got nominated for a BFTA award, another nomination came in, this time for an Oscar, but in between all the nominations and acting, there came this unexpected news. Gladiator's sequel, Paul Mescal in talks to star for Ridley Scott. See, I was six years old when the first movie came out and I didn't have a chance to see it in theaters. But in 2005 or 6, I saw this movie for the first time on television. And I remember it so well, this movie was amazing. I was about 10 years old at the time and just like every 10 year old, you don't follow the story, you just watch it for the visuals. But when I got older, I saw this movie again and now I understood everything. The manipulation, the greed for power, the revenge, the anger, the fear, the human opinion. And now understanding the story, I even loved it more. So when I read about the Gladiator sequel, I was kind of excited and curious at the same time. I mean, the story was already done in the first one. Besides being very curious, I also was very disappointed. Nowadays, they make reboots just for the money and usually they destroy a legacy of the movie once loved very much. I didn't know what to expect of the sequel. But time went by, some behind the scenes footage showed, fundings by Malta, an incident on the set, and finally the first trailer came out. The stuff we got to see in the trailer was amazing, but people kept making a thing from the rap music heard in the trailer. And if you know anything about movies, you know that 9 out of 10 times the music heard in the trailer won't appear in the movies. So I was not so worried about that part. But a couple more trailers came out until it was finally time. I watched the movie and got mixed feelings. I can tell you one thing, the movie isn't that bad, depending on how you look at it. I mean, it's supposed to be a gladiator movie and the first half of the movie was kind of a gladiator movie, but it became bigger than that. It became more of a Roman Empire movie with a political twist about power. And yes, in the first movie there were also political issues, but the battle was between two men and not an entire empire. And there were a lot more battle arenas in the first one, which made it a gladiator movie. In this movie, we were watching a lot of political battles with sneaky games, with a council being selected, uh, the future of the Roman Empire and even a civil war. And the battle arena scenes, they played a less important role. And therefore it's important on how you view this movie. They try to continue where the first Gladiator movie stopped and if you are seeking for a good Gladiator sequel then this movie is bad because it doesn't feel like a Gladiator movie. But if you would look at this movie as a Roman history movie then the story becomes a little better with all the political games being played. And it could have been even better if they would make like an entire new movie with a different title and new story you know, without all the flashbacks and the connections to the prequel. And this is why I hate reboots. This movie wouldn't sell without the title, but with the title, it feels like they were trying to make this movie work. From time to time, it feels like they were trying to squeeze some important elements in. So the movie links up with the first one, but a finished story once loved very much now becomes something stupid. While watching this movie, I also had a moment where I thought to myself, this is going to be a recycled script. A love lost, seeking for revenge, the Hans Zimmer music is being recycled, a lot of flashbacks, and even the first battle where Lucius says to his battle partner, stay with me. Final conclusion, the movie was good depending on how you look at it. I mean, the sets were amazing, the actors performed well, but the music was kind of recycled and these are my thoughts on Gladiator 2 and I'm curious on what Gladiator 3 will bring us. I read that the first 8 pages are already done, but we'll have to wait because Ridley Scott is currently working on 7 other projects. The Dog Stars, also with Paul Mescal, a Bee Gees biopic, a Battle of Britain movie, a Western movie, Queen and Country. He also mentioned a movie called Bomb in the Pass and also he's working on an uncut version of 1942 and next week he's turning 87. Happy birthday Ridley. If you want more movie related content make sure you like this video also subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.